if you motivated our resources right now to change the face of the earth, to create a resource-based economy, we could do it very, very quickly. The problem is, again, the established orthodoxies and self-preserving mechanisms that are in place, which will be our death. The free market is what will kill everything on this planet. It's not the free market, it's actually the monetary system. Monetary acquisition and exchange through labor for income and the motivation of profit will be what destroys humanity. Because all it does is pull everything in the direction of those that have the most power. Right now, we are faced with an ecological collapse, an energy collapse specifically. We're faced with an economic collapse, which is very much tied into the energy collapse. Uh, we're faced with a labor collapse, which of course is very much tied to the economic collapse. Um, and we're faced with what I call the criminal meltdown. The breakdown of society is occurring. People say, well, we're going to have a recovery of the economy. The most dangerous thing that we can have right now is a recovery of the U.S. economy. The most dangerous thing that we can have right now is the use of more resources. Because all it's going to do is speed up the inevitable destruction. If more people go out and buy lots of automobiles to help the economy, all that's going to do is get more fuel into the tanks taken from the resources of the planet, more gasoline is used, more energy is going to be wasted on the idea of consumption. And this is what, again, will kill us. So a resource-based economy attempts to remove all of the insustainable practices that we have now and create a holistic system of resource management, of priority of labor, that's a big one. Think about how much time is wasted in most people's lives on jobs that do absolutely nothing. Think about how much energy is wasted by someone who works at Wall Street driving from Pennsylvania every single day from their home so they can be a trader on Wall Street, wasting energy on something that means nothing, that wastes even more electricity and energy. When you begin to think like that, when you begin to see how much energy and resources are wasted on actions that have no return whatsoever, except the self-interest and consumeristic monetary values of particular individuals, but return nothing to society. Think about how beautiful society would be when we start to educate people on natural processes of the environment, on science, technology, and uh, resource conservation. And when people can engage society in a, in, excuse me, in a professional level, if you will, they do so on things that actually matter. That will be cataclysmic. That will be unbelievable. To see people doing stuff that actually has a relevance. That will enable them to have so much more freedom, too. Uh, to put it in a gestural sense, the way I see human survival and the human self-interest mechanism, which does exist, but it's accelerated by our system, is making a psychological trick to what it means to um, be self-serving. Social interest needs to become self-interest. In other words, when I invent something, that is given to everyone for them to improve upon and to utilize. That invention is imported through patents and trademarks. It's given to everyone. In turn, what that means is that every time anyone else invents something or creates something or has an idea, that comes to me too. Suddenly, humanity becomes a singular organism. It becomes a working system.